Hey guys, I wanted to film a quick little update on how I am dyeing my roots with henna. Originally, I was using a shade of henna that was more red-orange, but now I've been using a wine red color. So I wanted to show you how it looks after I touch up my roots. Here you can see my roots, which have grown in a considerable amount. And you can also see where the last time I colored my hair is. So it's right around here. Now it's time to give it a touch up. What do you think? This is the color I've selected, and I'm only going to be using about half the package since I'm not coloring my whole head. I'm adding a splash of apple cider vinegar because the acidity helps with dye release. I'm heating up some water so it's warm but not boiling. Then I'm adding the warm water to the powder gradually and mixing with a spatula to monitor the consistency. You want to add the water slowly and stir so you don't end up with a thin, drippy paste. We're aiming for it to look like a thick pudding or cake batter. So I'm in the bathroom now and I'm about to shampoo my hair with a clarifying shampoo, which is important to do before you henna to get rid of any residual oil that might be on your hair or product buildup. I know I have like a bunch of dry shampoo up top. So you want your hair to be like in a really clean, squeaky clean type of state before you start the application. Using gloves on your hands and whatever tools you prefer, Begin working the henna into your roots and be careful not to miss any spots that you can't see in the back of your head. I put on a disposable shower cap and I'm going to let this sit for at least two hours before rinsing with cold water and using a co-wash conditioner slash detangler that smells really good like oranges. So here is how the wine red henna came out. You can see my roots. I really just concentrated the henna onto my roots and just a little bit down towards the bottom, but mostly up here. It's been three days now since I've colored my hair with henna, so you can really see how the mixture and the color has developed. They say it takes a couple days for it to develop into the color that it's going to be. So if this is it, I'm really happy. Take another look. I'm very happy with how this came out, knowing that it's all natural as I'm washing it out and some gets in my mouth. I don't have to worry about what chemicals I'm swallowing because it's all plants. So feeling good about that and you should give it a try. I also put the mixture onto my eyebrows so you can see how they came out too. Close up. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you try using henna at home. It's safe, it's effective. It really gives a nice vibrancy and you can do it at home. So. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye.